Hi, today I'm going to talk about Web Center Portal Tool C. This is the latest version released by Web Center Portal. So I'm going to log in. This is the home screen which is developed by the Bootstrap theme and this is fully responsive. So if we try to resize the browser, it's totally responsive. So okay. So we'll be showing to the administration UI. Okay. We have quite a lot of similar features as we have features in 11G but we have a few versions we have two new page template we have mosaic and the unicorn so as of now this uh, portal template is we have selected as mosaic let's select to unicorn and application screen we, I will also select as unicorn And here we have different portals which we are listed in Web Center Portal. So we have Portal 1, Portal 2, Portal 3. Here we have a tab. Uh, so they have changed the UI for Web Center Portal as earlier. Here we have all the shared assets and we have the portal templates here. So if you see how this mosaic is actually look like. So somehow the template is look like this. And in the share and in the share assets, we can select uh, the skin page style, the resource catalog, the page template, task flows. We have two new features here in uh, shared asset. One is the virtual virtualization template. It's similar to the content presenter we have. And um, if we create any of the visualization template in the JDeveloper and we can upload either from directly from the JDeveloper through round trip asset development or and we can also download currently we don't have any so it will behave uh, we can do all the development inside the JDeveloper and we can upload the visualization template it's almost similar to the content presenter as we have the this feature in 11g the next feature we have the data control uh, it's quite similar as earlier so it's there's not much different into that only different now earlier we have only the sql and now we can also have the web services so we can simply need to provide the vsdl and we can go ahead the new change we have the rest data sources so here if I try to create a data source space on the REST services, I just need to provide the name. And here we have to provide the resource path. We can select the return type. Either it should be XML or the JSON type. We can select the use authentication. It should enable caching. And we have all the methods like get, put, post, delete, which can enable us to have the, all the crude operations through the service earlier we can only have the visualization so we can only display the information from the database now we can also have uh, we can modify the data we can also delete the data and similarly we have the SQL data source we already created that so let's try to edit that and here I've created a uh, data source based on the web center data schema and we can also test it directly from here so the next feature the one of the code feature we have in web center portal 12c is the portal deployment 
So earlier we have to deploy, we have to export the portal as a par file and then uh, we have to deploy either through the VLST command or either do the manual or through the enterprise manager. But now here we can see all the log traits for the recent deployment which we have made. And even we can also see the deployment history when we made any deployment and on which server. So it's quite useful uh, for auditing purpose and on which server we have deployed that. So let's look uh, some of the portals which we have in the application. So I'm going to see this portal one and I'm going to open a new tab. So if you see, uh, this is based on the new template which is uh, modified here. So if you look at, if you see the user interface is quite to change a lot and here we have a feature of draft so we can see uh, the pages so let's go to the setting and so here we have selected the page template as unicorn and the skin as the unicorn so if you see uh, we have different pages And here we also have this document feature as you must remember that in 11G we have a doc document explorer task flow which is uh, responsible for showing the documents and the uploading the documents to the content server. But now uh, in this release we don't have this document, document explorer task flow and we have a new feature called content manager which is quite useful. Uh, in comparison with document explorer so you can also customize this content manager in jdeveloper as earlier with the standard customization of the task flows and if you want to see how we can customize the standard task flow in web center portal you can uh, view my another video in which i have described how, how we can uh, customize the standard task flow in web center portal and if we try to uh, the best thing it's because it's based on the bootstrap so if we try to do that if we try to shrink that, so you can notice that uh, these navigation is converted to the icons. Oops, sorry. Yep. To the icons, and now if we do uh, more, then uh, the navigation is become into a into a hover icon. And if I and here also, if you can see here, we have the text messages, but now it's changed to like and it's quite similar to the Elta UI we have and if we keep shrinking this is a table uh, which where we are showing the documents and it's quite responsive it's fully supports all the devices like the the tablets and the mobile phones so it's quite impressive uh, even if you see now I have now change the setting uh, I will change the setting to a different template instead of mosaic and I will also change the skin Now we have the different template and you can see we have the we have another footer and the social icons which we can use and the navigation came into here the portal page and the document and this is also fully responsive and so on. Now go back to the administration and now uh, if we see the new features here we can edit the portal and then we have the same user interface as we have earlier and 
and here we can edit the page the new feature we have uh, the draft feature so here we can uh, if we try to edit the pages we can uh, and we have to we want we don't want to publish that page at as of now and we can simply make it into draft and later when we came into the portal uh, the administrator can come later in, into the portal and he can simply select and he can say select to the publish and then he simply have to publish and the page will be published and uh, we have some log documents and this information is stored in the web center scheme and we can see that so he, here i can see i have made some draft and now i want to publish that page i simply need to publish that the next feature we have the security so here we can also select the security for the portal and here now we have some some uh, roles as the portal manager and now we don't have the role as earlier we have the role as anonymous now we don't have role as anonymous we only have the public user and you can add the users assign the roles and so on these are the journal settings or maybe the journal features of that portal which you can see what should be the title of the portal, what should be the description, you can also select the uh, color, change the UR and so on. You can make it active and online. These are the journal settings which we can see and it's quite similar to the, uh, the previous version of Epson portal. The no next feature we have the I mean here we can see the assets described for that portal. So have a lot of features and if you look at that this business object you can also create the business object within the portal and you can use in inside the portal the next thing we have the device setting we can select the, we can select the different setting for each devices like the desktop ios phone android phones tablets and then android tablets the next here the setting we can make uh, the setting for the tool and services and here we can select the services for the document uh, we can also customize the tool console and we can also uh, reset all the customization which we have made so yeah, let's try doing doing that Okay, so now here you can you can customize uh, the document, the content match manager of the web center portal. Directly here you can edit the task flow. I have also shown this customization of the these task flows in my another video. So I'm not going to show right now. And we And the, the, the latest and the new feature which I really like uh, very much and the deploy feature. So normally uh, if you have the different environment like the production environment, development environment and uh, the test environment. And initially we have to deploy uh, the portal as to either we have to import the, uh, the portal as a power file and then we also need to deploy all the shared libraries uh, into that environment. So it's quite a uh, bit cumbersome task, but now it's make it very easy. We, we just need to select the server, need to add some comment and we can select whether it should include the portal content, include the shared asset and include the shared libraries. That means uh, even all the sh shared libraries in the web logic, which we have deployed for this portal, this will be also deployed on another server. And for example, we have five teams and five teams are working on this website portal so it this feature is quite useful initially we used to have 
uh, either run some Maven script to deploy the shared library separate and then need to deploy the shared asset separately. But after this feature, we just need to, we can deploy any of the portal in different environment in just three or four clicks. We can select the target server and simply deploy. Uh, this is quite useful. Uh, And this is the portal and if we go to the administration here we can search the all the bro all the portals with the keywords this is the administration and this is the home portal and these are the listed other portals which we have in the web center portal so uh, we have changed uh, the screen as uh, mosaic and this is into the mosaic here we can select the profile the portals and the document and so on and even these new templates are fully responsive it's based on the bootstrap theme and it's also support uh, the other devices like android ios and tablet and so on okay so if I try to uh, reset that it will be uh, so as you can see it's quite responsive and it's also behave like an Elta UI okay so that's all from my side it's a uh, brief overview on the web center portal 12c and uh, in my next videos I will show you each features in the detail and we will be covering with few demos uh, thanks all